It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Buffalo Bills. And it comes your way next. Winter is just around the corner as you get a look at Highmark Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. Their guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, they've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the wait goes on for a Super Bowl appearance. This will be the 28th season since they last won Super Bowl 30 in 1996. Let's add on to that. They haven't even been to an NFC Championship game since 1996. And you know, that does not sit well in the owner's box for the Dallas Cowboys. Continue to try to find their way back to the top of the mountain. And we are underway in Buffalo. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It will come out to the 25. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen looking to throw it right at the outset. It's caught by Davis, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Throwing now is Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run for the first time with James Cook. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. From the 43, here's second down and five. Now Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. That would a first down pickup of eight. Now Cook running right. And some room to the over. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They went with a nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. They run again on first down. Cook. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, 
you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. First down, here's the run with Cook. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 50 yards rushing for him here. What a start to the ball game. It's first and goal. Well, they've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do? To and he'll get him. Touchdown, Buffalo. James Cook taking it in from four yards out. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7 nothing Buffalo. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. To the touchdown bass to kick it away. Cavante Turpin now to return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury. Would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Prescott now. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 33. 23 yards to pick up there. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory. Down at the 33. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Taron Johnson made the stop. Here's a second and five. Prescott to throw it. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll run left with Pollard. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second 
second and six. Here's Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Prescott from the gun. That is caught. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond as you just noted. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jake Ferguson, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. We always admire a guy go through his progressions and find the open receiver. I believe we just saw that there. And we admire him just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7 7 here as the kick's away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And now, last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know they're... And now off to the races, down the right side. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Allen going to throw. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Bills have taken the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Here's Bass now for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Going to run again here with Pollard. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. They'll go with Pollard here on first down, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second down and six. Out of the gun to give to Pollard. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 41. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Prescott on play action. And this is going to be incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Pollard. They're able to avoid him at the 40. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it, and it worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He was probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, We'll see more of that in the future. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll bring up second down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Yards. Okay. Looking to throw. Prescott. Going right back to Ferguson. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. Now Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jay Ferguson with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at 14. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. 
as they've got it as we resume action. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. They'll give to Cook on the read option. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Here now a third down and eight. To throw, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Finally, this defense makes a stand. They've given up touchdowns on their first two drives, but here they said, we've got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Deep to return is Kevontae Turpin. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, Offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. On first and 10, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five. Throwing. Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. To throw is Prescott. I see so far out of 
of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Deontay Hardy back deep. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 26 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Now Allen. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. It was Osa Odigizawa on the tackle. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, but they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Here's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he'll be marked out at the 26 with a gain of seven. That coach is always hard on the quarterback, reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Back to the ground, Cook. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Second and nine. They run it again with Cook. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 60 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Here's Allen to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier, was bidding for a second. Second and goal from the one. Again, it's Cook. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. James Cook 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills have broken the tie. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. To the 43, second down. Second down and six now. Here's Pollard again, pushing through the contact. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. And with that run, he's already at 100 yards here before halftime. So if he sees the same kind of action in the second half, he could be on his way to a career game. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. A give to Pollard running left. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 35. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Prescott on first down. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. 
Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Wow, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. couple of teams locked into a good one here 21 all the score as the kicks away and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line unable to corral him he fights through and he'll be brought down at the 28 yard line so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more the Bills going to take over now late in this first half and we'll see what they want to do. 45 seconds is all that remains until the break. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now second and three. Throwing now is Allen. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And his throw is incomplete. Here's second and ten. Allen to throw once more. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 34-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Boy, Brandon, a missed opportunity there at the end of this first half. You'd love to give your guys a lead going into the break, but this effort doesn't find the mark. And that's going to keep things all square. Down there, but it's incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Final play of the half, Prescott. throw is going to be incomplete so we've reached halftime in a wild first half we'll take a minute to catch our breath 
As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback the cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up charles and all tied on the scoreboard and it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half and now here in the second half getting the ball first you've got to think hey we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half but if i'm a defensive player all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? First down, Prescott. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Just need a yard here, second and one. Pollard will take it up the gun. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front, that's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Prescott to throw it. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain of 22. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the Bills' 14 yard line. To the air again, Prescott. 
On the left side, Gallup's got it. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Prescott from the gun. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. That was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact that he actually caught the football. Worked so hard to get his feet down inbound. Mike McCarthy pretty decisive. He brings out that red challenge flag. Previous play is under review. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So Mike McCarthy correct in his assessment there to challenge that ruling. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And they will take a seven-point lead. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. A very solid gain of 27. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes Teams get too concerned about the deep ball. They leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Well, if you like the matchup and that connection works to start the drive, no reason to go away from it. Let that defense prove that they can stop you. And here, it's two throws and two first downs. Throwing on first down is Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter that has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine, but going ahead and scoring here, extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are all tied at 28. separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And they will wing them down a couple yards shy of the 30. 
possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Here's Prescott. Open man right side, it's Lamb. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. They need two, here's third down. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Prescott looks to throw on first. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and one. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Prescott now from the 50. He's across midfield and finally marked down at the 42-yard line. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. One of the selling points at the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. On second down, it's Pollard. Nifty move, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. First down, and it's Pollard again. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone, first down. He continues to be dominant running the football. I mean, keep feeding him, right? Yeah, you should because what he's put up already is really like a two-game total. Give him a lot of credit, but give the rest of the offense credit as well. The big guys up front and the receivers on the perimeter, everyone's getting involved blocking people downfield. And it's caught. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. And, boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. No, no, no. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Aubrey Good with a PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. On second down, Cook able to power through. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Allen now looks to throw. That is caught. Diggs with a good footwork. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. This is second and eight. Here's Cook again. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Here's third and six. Here's Hallett. And that will be incomplete. I can put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Back now in Buffalo. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. On first and 10, Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. Calling a gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And they run the option on second down. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 
Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 41 yard line. From the 41, this is second and a yard. Now a give here to Pollard. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss. Not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now it's second and 10. They'll run left with Pollard. And again, this Buffalo defense there and run support to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Aubrey now for the point after. And the lead is up to 14. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Bills getting set to go. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. And from the 34, here's second and four. Now Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. 
Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. It's a game of eight. Makes it third and five. The Bills on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. To throw, it's Allen. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 81 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Partner, we always talk about how important third down is, but I think first down is equally important because everything comes off of that play if the defense wins the down they are able to attack if the offense wins the down they might go faster do other things and change things up that big play right there allows this offense to really get in gear and good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block that might set your man free and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively or it could have gone for more from the 31 here's a second and four Allen off the play fake. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 24 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Cook. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. Allen going to try and keep it. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. 
Prescott now on second down. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. Two yards on the pickup there. And third and eight now. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Here's Brian Anger now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. On the return, Hardy. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, 9 on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. Seems like the measuring stick for receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, and he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. So the completion results there in nine yards, and they'll have a second and one forthcoming. To the air, Allen. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. But when I looked out, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Going to run again here with Pollard. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Now a second and six. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Pollard is 
not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, <laughs> carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Prescott looking in zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring a fourth down here. So a big one coming here for Brandon Aubrey. This to perhaps salt this one away. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that not just important in the fact that it widens their lead, but really that was a textbook job of just hanging on to the football. And we know all the time that coaches talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's a stat that doesn't matter much, but in this drive, it matters a lot. They want to reduce time and score points and lock this game down. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Allen and the Bills now down by 10, 56 seconds to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Throwing Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Just a difficult situation to be in here in the final minute. Down two scores. You know you need some providence from somewhere. They're going to keep firing away till the end, but this one falls incomplete. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and 10. Now Allen. That's taken in by Knox. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. Allen. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. He's to the 15, and they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is. I'm one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.